<laughs> Welcome back to Anderson's <laughs> TV wow. with Pete and me. Hello. Um, Please like and subscribe before we go on. Hit the notification bell and all of that stuff down below. Yes. Now, use timestamps. We are going to, yes, use the timestamps if you just want to fast forward and find out about one of these other pedals. We're going to talk about Landlord pedals. Uh, this is probably the most affordable pedal range that Anderson's do. There's mm. maybe 10 or 12 pedals in the range, something like that. Um, they are all themed around a good old fashioned pub in the UK. Um, <laughs> good idea, man. It's a great idea. So, uh, yeah, up there will be videos of previous versions of the Landlord pedals. This are six mm. new, or this is six new pedals now. We've got fuzzes, uh, distortions, phasers, flanges, an octave, and an EQ. Um, I haven't put these in yet, so Lee, you have to, oh God, sorry. You these have are to, 29 pounds each. Really? Uh, wow. Yeah, crazy, crazy affordable. Uh, they are part of the deal that we run on another brilliantly affordable range of pedals called Tone City, where if you buy two, during the same purchase, uh, you get a free power supply and a little daisy chain splitter, which is great because you can't run these on batteries. I like this um, little, uh, there's a little knee up, oh, but there's a little, little pin up there. Foxy lady. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one then, which is called the hairy tongue. <laughs> Uh, if you're not uh, British and don't know what a hairy tongue is, it's basically how you feel the morning after you've drunk far too much yeah. in your local pub. So oh. this is a vintage fuzz and with all kind of vintage fuzz vibes, you basically just turn everything up and do it from the volume control yeah, yeah. on the guitar. So What's here on that is one? Oh, everything up. It is a, a hairy a tongue. So here's, yeah. here's our clean sound. Here's our fuzz. <laughs> I've had Harry songs after not just drinking, but from something else as well. Uh, this next one is the octave. Now this has got multiple octaves on it, so it's oh, really? got uh, it can do two octaves below or two octaves above oh, or both at the same time. Or not. Yeah. Holy smokes! So I will start. My Holy gut feeling octave, is it's probably man. the single octave. <laughs> so the big knob uh, is the one that controls the dry signal and then the two small knobs here control the two different octave signals. Mm -hmm. One being an octave separated, the other being two octaves separated. Wow. So oh. here's the other one. <laughs> wow, that's low, that's man. That's two octaves below, yeah. You might, uh, <laughs> do you know what we do need with this? We actually probably do need a drive back. That's what I thought. Because uh, kind of like... Do we want a fuzz? Fuzz? Uh, yeah. Do you want a fuzz? Yeah, yeah, yeah fuzz why, up, not? Fuzz why not? Up, why not? Why not? Let's just give up, this man. a go. Because I kind of think <laughs> this will be where most of you guys will want to use your kind of overdriven... T uh, sorry, your octave tone. Here you go. Uh, I knew I was looking for something like that. No, Thank you all. It's good with it if you had a looper pedal and you want to use like a, have a bass line. Yeah, it's, then you can kind of use one of these. There's a little bit of lag, isn't there, on that sort of? Um... There's a little bit of lag on the low end because it's yeah. so low. But it's all right. So it's it, you disguise that lag by introducing the dry sound. with Ooh. fuzz. Oh, 
<laughs> I, I think that's a Dude. really great way of fattening up that yeah. type of uh, oh, can riffy you do the stuff. Up thing that you really like, couldn't you? Well, so if you go up, up, up. now you go. I think this starts to sound a bit plinky, plinky, weird. But let, here yeah. we go. Well, well so right. here is the. And then add the fuzz. Maybe it needs to be first, I don't know. No, I think it just needs to be more subtle, doesn't more it? Let's subtle. try it like. I really like that. I think that, again, I, I'm not a massive fan of the octave up sound, um, no. but it, it subtly it kind of works well. So that's the bottoms up, <laughs> which again is a uh, slang for cheers. Yeah, or bottoms up. It's the last bit, isn't it? The or, whole thing down in one, isn't yes. it? Bottoms up like um, right. the bottom is up. Next one is the Dutch courage. Uh, again, I don't know where that saying goes. comes from, but that is where you, uh, yes, you want to go and talk to someone you're attracted to in a bar and you need to pluck up a bit of courage. So that's a one Dutch or two courage. drinks, bit of Dutch courage. Yeah. Where's that come from? And, good, man. and there's only good. one knob on here. There's a vintage and modern mode. Here we go. And then there's just the speed of the phaser. I thought I'm playing play some reggae for you, Lee. <laughs> So what's the uh, vintage? Is that what's here now? The modern sounds like it's got more of that sort of flanged, uh, whooshy sound to it. But it's just a sort of slight subtle change. See, it seems deeper. Maybe a bit yeah. deeper. It's well That's worth, nice, like that. if you're interested in any of these pedals, it's well worth doing the buy to get the power supply Absolutely. deal free. I think the power supply is 15, 17 quid, 100. something like that. <laughs> no, 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 not 15. No, no. Uh, okay, so let's, let's stay on modulation for a bit. Let's get Pete's favorite one just because of the color. This is called the okay. watering hole. I think we might have stolen that from the Australian slang for a hole. pub. I think so. Uh, that's maybe, where, that's where all the animals go to. Uh, it is indeed. So this yeah. is a flanger. So we've got color, range, okay, right. uh, and rate. And then we've got a normal mode and a filtered mode. Mm. 
every time you play that, somebody will comment, oh, yeah, come on, I strike. And I don't yeah. think we ever have had one, have we? I don't, not on that one, we haven't. I, may, I did a video once enough. and he, but, but I, th I put a video up when he was alive, then I got a copyright strike immediately, and as soon after when he passed away, it's like no copyright strikes at all. So, so you're family saying obviously gone. It was a personal it was a, vendetta. There was a sharing, <laughs> yeah, just against me. Um, Okay, so the flanger is another modulation effect. It's more, it's probably the most extreme of the sort of the chorus phase of flanger yeah. kind of family. It's the whooshiest sounding one. Most, maybe psychedelic is the right word. Yeah, but, take me down to the um, Bell City. Yeah. We can obviously make that much more subtle if we want to. There you go. It's very subtle, man. I'm not sure what this filter mode does. Let's try. Oh, but that's a filter. That's maybe like a. Uh... No, that's just like um. Is it not moving at all? That's not moving at all. So ah, that would so say you'd like be like. Sort of... It's almost like a cocktail. Like yeah, it is yeah. a bit, isn't it? A massively cocktail. I don't think I like that. I think I like it in its normal mode. Dinosaurs, this is a uh, Jurassic Park. Well, we found some crazy modes in here. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, I love Literally, that. I love a, that. That's a, awesome, man. Entire pod of killer whales have just <laughs> beached themselves outside the flat. Um, <laughs> let's just You've just got all the animals from <laughs> Guildford coming up. I've like, been an enormous from sperm the... whale just killed itself <laughs> over my <laughs> car. <laughs> and you got just animals on the Surrey Hills. Yeah, yeah. All the birds are just smacking in the front of the house. <laughs> so that's the watering hole. So next we have the bar brawl. I imagine bar brawl is relatively universally used, whatever country you're from. Our bar brawl does <laughs> in this company. Any, yes, absolutely. Uh, right, He's so lovely. this is, this is a kind bar. of a higher gain, ratty, fuzzy, drivey pedal. Has three modes, original, extra, and ultra. <laughs> Extra mode. Extra, extra, read all about it. Ultra oh, sorry. mode. Ultra mode, okay. To me, quite a, I don't know, we've got Oz in the room now, so I'm looking for affirmation from him. It, it feels like if I back the tone off, it gets quite a doomy, fuzz, sludgy doomy kind of sludgy. sound. It 
got it's got that. Wow. wow. It, it's amazing how it just goes. Go. Like so that's a, does. Yep, the fun little drive pedal for your board there, mm. if that's your bag. Right, lastly is the Knees Up. Uh, and the <laughs> Knees Up is a five band EQ. Underrated effects pedal, right, Pete? Absolutely, I love it. An EQ is one of the best things ever, one of the most underrated things ever. I mean, the G Bus G7 is probably used on more Nashville yep. players' boards than anything else. So you could use an EQ pedal into the front of drive pedals. Mm -hmm into the front of a mildly crunchy amplifier oh, to okay. give it like a boost. You could use it after a load of pedals as a volume boost. It lasts, it's the last or thing. Or in the effects loop of your amplifier to act as like That's a clean a boost. That's a little bit sort of... Uh, That's hmm. what I used to do. Yes, but... Just saying. Know, right, know. so um, <laughs> the controls on here, five bands, five band EQ, so 100 hertz, 250, 630, 1.6 kilohertz and four kilohertz. And again, you can no, cut five or five. boost those. There's a center detente in the middle if you want it flat. <laughs> and then the control at the top that lights up green here is your volume level control. Does it turn everything off completely down if you... Oh, so that's slightly coming through there. Oh my god, there's a lot of boost in yeah. there, isn't it? With it all flat and just the volume up, it's just boosted, basically. Wow, what I'd like, like a... to do on the amplifier, though, just to accentuate it a bit more, is we get a little bit more preamp gain uh -huh. out of the amplifier. So maybe we've got like an edge of breakup tone now. And then we'll use this to sort of push it into a more driven tone. Wow, that's a lot. I am running it on the low gain setting, so let me just go back up to high. So we've got a little bit more headroom in it. I mean, that's a lot, isn't so, it? It gets so, almost get like yeah, all, in the end there. all of the gain and extra compression that you're hearing now is coming from driving the amp just harder. Punching it so, right in the front. Yeah, I don't know what you'd go with. I mean, you know, tube screamery, you could roll a little bit of the bass end off, push the mid-range a bit more. Exactly. Let me take a little bit more gain off here. I just I think it's great. Clean. Yeah, yeah, if you think about the some of the most one of the most famous amplifiers in the world, the Mesabugi Mark series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They designed a five band graphic that went in the amplifier. Mm -hmm. And again, that was where some of those classic sort of V-shaped smiley kind of metal tones came from. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, or you know, like more the, the more pushed mid-range sort of Carlos Santana type tone. But that's essentially what you can do in the that's EQ. Amazing. 29 quid, man. I mean it's like loony affordable. <laughs> Oh, hang on, wait. Let me what are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Try. He's found something. Let's, no, let's just try and I just want to go back and not use it as a boost, but okay. just use it as a... Just a, a tone shaper. Just for your clean sound, you know. So you literally it's, just, if you've got an amp, you want it to sound a little bit more of everything. It's like an exciter, isn't it? A little bit more bass and a little bit more treble, a little, little bit more volume. Yeah. Um, exciter. So that's the knees up. Uh, there is knees a down, lady man. who's fallen over, presumably after too many drinks in the pub. She looks like she's fallen um, over. I think she's looked like she's something else. Honestly. It's right, so like look, that, so. let's just put uh, two or three of these uh, in a row together, give you an idea. But look, that's the landlord range. Links will be below. £29, buy two, get the free power supply. Crazy deals. Like uh, and subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>